Oh, boy. So, this post game here is kind of gonna it is kind of gonna have some mixed emotions in it there's gonna be stuff that i can take out of today's game and there's gonna be stuff that obviously is just not good so i really don't know what to expect from this so i'm just gonna start recording it what's going on everybody mac back with another video as always do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is in the box below. 27-24. The Steelers lose for the first time this season. And I'm going to start off with the things that kind of make up for today's game because they're really the only good things I have to say. So if there's anything to take out of today's game, it's that if you even had a, a shred of doubt in your mind about who we need to be starting a quarterback, not just for next week against the Cowboys, but I would say for the whole season, and it's that Justin Fields is the guy. I mean, I don't know how any rational Steeler fan can sit down and say that what Justin Fields did out there was not good. He did more than enough to win today's game. He went 22 of 34, 367 yards, three touchdowns on the day for Justin Fields. He was finding guys. He was making plays. He looked confident. He did everything he could to get this team into a winning position. George Pickens, absolute beast today. Yes, I know people are going to kill him on the fumble, which was dumb. I mean, you, you just tuck the ball in and you, you try to make a play on that. Okay, dumb moment for George Pickens right there. But he had seven catches for 113 yards receiving. Those are the only good things that I have to say out of today's game. Other than that, this game was very frustrating. It was very disappointing. And I think the number one thing that a lot of people are definitely going to get on with the Steelers with this game, it's the defense. I mean, what happened with the defense today? What happened? I mean, this was arguably the number one defense going into today's game. And number one, that we just could not stop Jonathan Taylor at all today. I mean, Taylor just ran right through this defense today, man. Right through it, like a giant block of Swiss cheese. That's what this defense was today. And they proved to be it proved to be the tone setter as the Colts took the opening drive marched right down the field, and found the end zone. And before he could blink, the Colts were ahead 14 to nothing because they had another touchdown drive after that. And it wasn't from Anthony Richardson, no, because Anthony Richardson left this game because he injured his hip and he did not return. Don't know the status of him. Hopefully he's okay. But in comes Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco torched this defense today. A, a guy who's 38, what, in his late 30s, almost 40 years old? Joe Flacco, the guy the Browns shipped off in the offseason after they made the playoffs with him before, you know, after Deshaun Weinstein had to miss the entire, pretty much the whole season last year. A guy who this time last year was sitting in his family room couch watching football on TV, his legs up on a his legs up on an ottoman, eating popcorn, drinking soda pop, watching football on TV, and now here he is once again carving up this defense. And I'll say this right now: this is a loss where you can pin it on Mike Tomlin. You really can. I mean, the, the, the fourth down on the 39-yard line was dumb enough in itself. 
But here's the thing about Tomlin for this game. Number one, I mean, this shouldn't surprise you as a Steeler fan. It's It certainly didn't surprise me, let's be honest, because how many times have the Steelers done this throughout Mike Tomlin's tenure as head coach? I mean, we're talking about 17 years as this guy's being the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And time and time and time again has a Mike Tomlin team taken the field against a team who had a worse record than us. And Tomlin's team just completely slept on him. You know, like I said, there was a part of my mind where I thought that Indy would either win or they would make it close than what it should have been. And boy, was I right. Joe Flacco. Unbelievable, man. So yeah, that fourth down play wasn't good. But this is what I don't understand. Aside from the uh, very conservative first half, the awful penalty on Spencer Anderson, that personal foul penalty on him. Aside from all that, even the the botched snap by, by Zach Frazier that killed all the momentum away from us in the fourth quarter when this defense already put us in a deficit enough and we had solid drives going, but we just could not stop the Colts today. Our third down defense was horrendous today. It seemed like every single time the Colts had a third down, First down, first down, first down, first down. It's like, can you guys just get off the field? And aside from us, the, from, uh, from this game showing just how badly the Steelers need a, a solid number two receiver because George Pickens is a beast, no doubt about that. But, I mean, who's our number two? Is it CA3? He's probably the guy who's most likely to do it, but he... but. I don't know if for sure he can truly be that. You can't keep attacking Muth in the middle of the field like that because defenses are going to pick up on that. And we're we're even talking about a defense that was 31st going into this game. Colts had the 31st ranked defense going into this game. 24 points should be enough to win. The O-line once again, not doing Najee Harris any favors. Aside from that, that pass that he had from from Justin Fields in the game where he, he got a big play out of that, he did next to nothing. And aside from just the very conservative first half that the Steelers had, where we only came away with three points in the first half, outscored the Colts the rest of the way 21-10, to 10, but really three points in the first half. Another conservative first half, another first half of the Steelers just playing not to lose, another half of the Steelers where it's like, you know, they're they're sleeping on the opponent. But with all that aside, I don't understand this about Mike Tomlin. He's a defensive-minded coach, and he has gone up against Joe Flacco how many times in his career? Seriously, how many times? It has to be about 23 or 24 times that he's gone up against Flacco throughout the course of his career. And I understand that, well, you know, Joe Joe Flacco is an experienced backup. Joe Flacco is a former Super Bowl MVP, Mac. I mean, you give Joe Flacco credit where it's due. I mean, that much is true. Joe Flacco does know Mike Tomlin. But shouldn't it also be the other way around? Shouldn't Tomlin know Flacco as well? So if that's the case, why are you not full-on attacking Flacco all day? It's not like Flacco's a young pup. Like I said, he's in his late 30s. He's approaching 40 years old. And yes, I know the Colts have an elite O-line, but where was the pressure? There was like no pressure at all today from the Steelers. The only time that we sacked Flacco today came in the fourth quarter when the Steelers were trailing in the game. And by then, it pretty much, 
it, the game was just out of reach, if you even want to call it that. It's just an inexcusable performance. I mean, all around collective failure today, especially on the defense. And like I said, you knew that it was going to be one of those games where the Steelers were just going to overlook their opponent again when Jonathan Taylor and the Colts just marched right down the field and scored a touchdown on us. Now, granted, the play calling and the execution did get better in the second half as we did, you know, get 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 back in the game with the Colts as far as yardage went, as far as ball control went, as far as time of possession went. We got back in the game. And maybe and maybe this is just that one really bad game that the Steelers have had so far. And, you know, I don't deny that as the season progresses, there's going to be other bad games that we have. I mean, we all know stuff like this. But, I mean, it's inexcusable how you just completely let a defense just totally dominate you. A defense that had several key starters on IR or not playing in this game. And you couldn't really, and basically, you couldn't get anything going until the fourth quarter. Like I said, Justin Fields played his ass off today. There, there's no denying that. I, I, I assign almost no blame to Justin Fields. Sure, he had a couple of dumb moments where he was being flushed in the pocket and, you know, he had that fumble. That was, you know, that was bad right there. And there was a moment where he should have picked up on the nickel blitz that the Colts were throwing at him. That's that's for sure. But those are really the only bad things that I got to say about Justin Fields. I don't know why Steeler, I, I even see Steeler fans on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or whatever, and they're commenting stuff like, put Russell Wilson in, you know, Russ can't. Why would you want to put Russell Wilson in when he's hurt? And why would you want to put Russell Wilson in when he probably can't make those plays with his legs that Justin Fields was making? I mean, did you even watch the game if that's the case? Apparently not. You just like blaming the quarterback for everything. Justin Fields did absolutely nothing. Justin Fields did like nothing wrong in this game. A couple of bad plays, fine. But say what you want. Justin Fields was the only reason that this team was able to even make this a game. Because this game showed it. I mean, this game solidified it right here. Last week against the Chargers, when Justin Fields had that great game against them, that sold me 100% that this definitely is the kid that we need to have under center for the whole season, and this game reinforced it. You know, Justin Fields is our QB1. He had almost 400 yards passing today. Now, with, with a moment like this, there was a time, you know, late in the game where I was like, you know, this is a situation where if we had prime Big Ben, we would have won this game because that's the kind of quarterback that Big Ben was. You know, he liked playing from behind. He liked, you know, leading the team to victories and he liked coming back from behind. You know, Big Ben had a knack for fourth quarter comebacks. So, you know, every time the Steelers were down a couple points or, you know, they had, a, they needed a couple of touchdown drives to get things going and retake the lead. I always felt like the Steelers going to the Steelers were going to win. Even if we didn't win, I always felt like we were going to win. And before this fourth quarter today, I felt I was like I don't know if I can get that sense with Justin Fields because the pressure's on him now. And now all now all eyes are on him and people are going to be like, you know, this is the guy that's going to be the QB. I feel confident that Justin Fields can lead this team to a victory, you know, with the defense not having a good game. I feel like we I feel like he's capable of doing that. The question is, the defense when how much does the defense need to show up and how much of bad coaching and bad preparation can Justin Fields overcome? 
you know? It's just a really frustrating loss, man. And look, I, I know it's our I know it's just our first loss of the season, all right? I understand that. I'm not sitting down here and spitting nickels mad at the Steelers for this game. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not furious at them for losing this game, but I'm frustrated. Okay. That's the word I'm using for today. I'm frustrated about this loss. I'm frustrated about the way they were that they played today. I'm frustrated once again that it was another Tomlin special. Okay, that's what I am. And I know I should be used to stuff like this because I've been a Steeler fan for over 20 years now. But you know what? If you're a true fan of this team, it never ceases to frustrate you. It just never does. No matter how good they are, no matter how bad they are, no matter who we're playing, it just never ceases to frustrate you as a fan. So. All I can say for today is, is that we definitely had multiple chances to win this game today. We could have won this game if it wasn't for the defense just completely falling apart. If it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for misuses today, and if Mike Tomlin actually came up with second half adjustments, and if he could find a, I, I can't believe I have to say this, find a way to stop Joe Flacco. I mean, you've been going up against this guy for 16 years now and you still don't have an answer for him? Wow, man. So, we're 3-1 and one now. Uh, the Bengals got in the win column today. I'm not too concerned about that. They played Carolina. They're not a good team. The Browns, as I'm talking right now, they are losing to the Raiders. And then, of course, we got the Ravens in a couple hours. So at least it's not like the Steelers are losing a ton of ground for today's loss. But it's just a frustrating loss, man. That, that's all it boils down to. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm Mac, checking on out for the day. Have a good one, everybody.